Welcome to another episode of The Way We Saw It. We are on the island of Eos in the Cyclades in Greece. This is our second video from this island. And today we are going to discover a little bit more of the island. We are currently sitting at the Milopotas beach. There are scooters and quads running around, which is very usual on the Greek islands. This Milopotas beach is one of the central points on the island. It is not around the village, because the island only has actually two villages. One is Ormos, which you can see on our previous video. It's the port town. And the other one is, of course, Hora, like every Greek island has a Hora, which is the main village or main city or the capital city, as they like to call it here. Uh, today, we're going to take you around a little bit of the few sites that the island has. There's some archaeological sites and, of course, beaches like the one here, the Milopotas beach. We are actually staying just across the bay on the other side in a little hotel, which is a wonderful, wonderful place. It's very simple but such a lovely place with a view to die for from the window. And now we are on the other side of the bay of Milopotas in a cafe called Cantina del Mar. This place has the best coffee on the island. So if you want real good coffee, come to Cantina del Mar. So join us for a trip around Eos. We're here at Skarkos. Skarkos is a settlement that has been found only in 1984 on the island of Eos and it's very close to the Hora. You can actually walk down from Hora to here and this settlement dates from 3200 to 2100 before Christ. So this is a Bronze Age settlement, the biggest Bronze Age settlement ever found uh, until to date and it has been excavated since 1984 to a pretty good state where you can see how the people were living here and how they used graves and all that and it's uh, it's located on a hill just opposite the island of Sikinos they the people here they were trading metals obviously bronze and other things and you can imagine they lived here more than 1000 years so that's a very very long time and all it's left is now here. The place is very well organized. The entrance fee is four euros per person. They have a little visitor center where they have a little kind of a museum about 10 square meters but they have boards that explain really well what this place is about. excavations and not every not everything is uh, excavated yet so there are still work to do but it's very interesting to see this settlement here which was actually 3000 before Christ and then you see our videos from uh, Machu Picchu and, and the Aztecs and the Mayas and South America you have this here you pay for your entrance fee instead of uh, I don't know 150 euros or 70 euros for Machu Picchu a lot of history also in Europe and they found a lot of bones from chickens and pigs so they were actually doing a lot of uh, um, how do you say that a animal farming but they found also a lot of materials and minerals from other islands so they were doing trades between the islands and also uh, trading with metals they found oxidants and they were melting the metals here and yeah it's a very interesting site don't miss it when you come to and from here you can see the village of Ormos. Ormos is the port with, where we were in the last vlog. And you can see the Agia Irini uh, church on the left hang of the port, which is also something we filmed on the last vlog. Now we are heading to the Agios Dimitrios church, which is supposed to be on the highest point. And I'm being eaten by animals of the island. And you can see here there is a uh, traditional road. This road leads actually to Hora. So if you are staying in Hora, you want to visit this archaeological site, you can walk down from the Hora taking this traditional street. <laughs> We've 
arrived to a high point on the island of Eos and from here you have a great view on the other Cycladic islands and on the left, oh, it's windy, there you can see Paros, here is Naxos and here is a series of small Cycladic islands, the small Cyclades and the last one of this row is Kufunissi and there you can see the island of Amorgos and these are islands that we visited we visited last Cycladic tour two years ago and one of these islands will be our next destination yes and here you can see the beach of Agios Theodoris yes Theodoris yes since we have been last time on the Cycladic islands a lot of progress has been done many islands now have these wind machines which is very smart because there's always wind as you can hear probably in the background and uh, yeah two, two wind generators here one over there very cool we are on a very high point already and this is the Agios Georgos Georgios, Georgios, and it's located in this little pine forest and you have a beautiful view here between the trees over the sea. Look at this with the islands, the Cycladic islands in the blue sea. We have arrived to the monastery of Agios Ioannis. There's a little gate here where you can go inside. Courtyard, church, and I don't know if there is actually still a monk living here or not. Maybe. The monks were probably living here. There is a little cell you can see. The bed is still there. The plastic chairs. Here from the monastery you can see the villages of village of Ormos where the port is. Across you can see the island of Sikinos. So that's facing southwest. We had a little snack here at the monastery, very pleasant and quiet here. And now we're heading to the southernmost beach of Eos, the Manganari beach. And on the way to the new beach we pass by the Mila Potas Bay, that's the bay here, very beautiful in the sun. And there's a ferry going to Naxos, Hellenic Seaways. Behind me you see the Bay of Manganari. It has four beaches, they are very, very deep and some of them are organized with sunbeds. And on the back you can see the island of Santorini. So we are on the southern tip of the island of Eos. And here by the beach they are currently also drying some octopus in the sun. And here you can see the organized beach where we will check it out a little bit more close and there are little tavernas here directly on the beach so we had our uh, aperitif here with this beautiful view on the beach two beers are killed and now it's time to head home and at this point we want to close the walk the walk <laughs> the vlog from eos and before we came here, actually, people were saying to us, oh no, don't go to Eos, you know, this is a party island and there are so many young people and they drink and they behave terrible. There is a party culture here on that island at Mira uh, Potolas, Miro, Marty has to help me with the name. Milo Potas. At the Mila Potas beach. And, but this is only in uh, July around it when it's very very high season there's loud music but there are so many beaches here you can always escape to other beaches 
And currently there's also a very heavy in investment going on from a US Greek guy who made his money in the US who is investing heavily into this island and built already many hotels, bought there's room or 30% of the island. If this is a good development for the island, let's see what the future will bring. There's also rumors going on that they are trying to build an airport here on this island, which will then once again change the whole island and bring more tourists, of course. And there's also, I think, a little bit of competition to catch up with other islands like Mykonos or Santorini. And this is, everybody has to make his own opinion, but I think, uh, it's always nice, that's my personal opinion, when you have an island which is more uh, relaxed and not overcrowded with too many people. And that's also why Marty and I have decided uh, three years ago to discover all these other beautiful islands of the Cyclades and not always go to Mykonos, which is in our opinion at the moment very, very busy and the prices are gone through the roof. Anyway, EOS, is an island with beautiful beaches. It's not very developed yet. There are actually just two two villages. It's actually the the, the port and then the Hora or the, the old town and that's kind of it. There are enough beautiful restaurants. We will write a guide about this island so you can read the guide if you come here on our website and prepare yourself or check out where to go and where not to go. And at this point, I would just like to say thank you very much for watching this vlog from EOS Island. And hit the like button. Thank you for all the new subscribers on board. And see you very soon on the next Cycladic Island. Safe travels always. Bye.